Hi, I'm Matt Vriesman, and I've been teaching at East Kentwood for six years. As soon as I realized that I wasn't starting on my JV baseball team, um, I realized my goal of being shortstop for the Detroit Tigers just probably wasn't going to come true. And so my second love was, was history, and uh, my mom was a teacher, and so I actually knew I wanted to be a history teacher by the time I was a junior and gave up my aspirations to be a major league baseball player. I love this job because I really do get to have fun every day. I love what I do. Um, I love history, and it's a job where I just get to talk about history all the time. And I think when people say they don't like history class, I think what they mean when they don't like history is they don't like public memory, which is something very different than a history class, right? Public memory is the story that a society has decided to tell about itself, typically the five, you know, memorize five reasons why we're the greatest of all time, and you know, we, have, we have all this privilege, so here's the 10 reasons why we deserve it, right? Um, and really that's a lot of like, mythology, um, and it's typically a very boring approach because it's like memorizing why we're so great. That is not what a historian does. A historian is someone like a philosopher who is out on a quest for the truth. So a historian is going to be an investigator, not a memorizer, right? Um, and all of a sudden, when you approach history like that, where a historian doesn't memorize a textbook, historians write really angry articles about why the textbook is wrong, right? A true history class will empower you. you understand the world that you live in is not just the way things had to be, um, but it is the result, the effect of choices made by people with power in the past. And when you can start to see that, when you can start to realize that our world doesn't have to be like this, and you can start to articulate how and why our world looks like this and why some people have a lot and some people don't, you can start to think systematically. At that point, maybe you can start to imagine a different, brighter future. Being named National History Teacher of the Year um, is an incredible honor. I'm really excited about that. The um, thing that makes me most excited about that is you know, there's going to be a, you know, a short period of time where all of a sudden you know, the way that we do things here at East Kentwood in the History Department, people around the country are going to be more interested you know, than they otherwise would be. And I think that the things that we do and the East Kentwood History Department is really exciting and really important. Um, it's not an easy time for people to be a history teacher right now. We are so blessed to be teaching not only in the state of Michigan, but in this district specifically, um, where we are supported with our you know, quest for you know, an honest narrative. Kentwood Public Schools offers you an education that you cannot get anywhere else in West Michigan. In high school, you, you're starting to form your view of the world, why things are the way that they are. And if you're at East Kentwood, you're starting to develop a much clearer picture of that, um, not just from your relationships with, with staff, not just from your classes, but from just being a part of our amazing community. One thing I know absolutely for sure, the more, of, more Kentwood students who go out into the world with their voice and they show up at the times when our larger society is making decisions. The more kids from Kelvin Public Schools that show up on those days when we're making decisions, we're gonna have a better world. I, that is a fact. I'm Matt Vriesman and I am incredibly proud to be a Kentwood Public School teacher.